I wonder why they've never, I've never heard, uh, have you ever heard any case of like, you know, none speaking out, exposing it? Uh, not, uh, I haven't heard directly, but I have seen uh, girls uh, who, when they came face to face with what they had to do in their final vows, leave because they didn't want anything to do with that, but they don't speak out, usually. At least none of the ones that I know of. What they normally do is they become uh, nurses or or something like that, Mm. follow through on the career path without having that uh, extra burden of... uh, Agreeing to what the nuns wanted them to do. So, the whole thing with uh, like with the Catholic Church and you know, bring like it's it's known like you know they have like it's like a big uh, like it's a homosexual a type of factory. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. it's the same thing as LDS. Latter Day Saints. You know the the big lie about LDS is that they are polygamists. But polygamy is the only way they can explain the fact that there are so many children and and so few men in the same place. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But what is really going on? It's it's part of their ceremonial life. Is they get inseminated artificially? I mean, it's not difficult, and it's not difficult to understand, oh, I understand. because it happens on farms all over the world every day. We have a factory just down the road from here. The farmers call them cow fuckers. Oh yeah, they they shoot the uh, the sperm. They get they get a horse to turn yeah. the thing on, and then they shoot cows, it. horses, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So it's the same thing. <laughs> After all, human beings are just animals, and and what they've done is basically tried to get what was the best animal of its day and use its DNA to manufacture as many as they can of the same thing. Well, masonry has the same idea. Use the best masons you've had in the past to make more masons in the future. Until the Neanderthaler uh, basically says, well, I don't want just the best warrior that I had uh, in the past. I would like to have the best warrior who's also the best-looking woman. So instead of having a clone of a man, I'm going to have a combo unit here with a body of a man but an outside of female. The female is a better sales tool. You want to get things done, you've got a better chance going through a female to get it done than through a male, especially dealing with high-powered people. Uh, The female being high-powered herself because internally she's a male and externally she's a female, using the charms of the female, she can infiltrate much better than males and get males to do what they want. After all, males are kind of like mules. They, they're just work animals. They, uh, they want sex and a sandwich. You know, you give, them, give them both and, and they're happy. But but um, but I see that like the how men think like that. That's that's partly because of, you know the the culture, 
it pushed. You know, that's what I see in the media. That's what, so like every movie is all about, you know, the sex and. Of course. Nothing sex sells. So if you want to get things done mm-hmm. by men, you're more likely to get it done by sending in a woman. Because she'll give men what they want. Men are not really interested in money. The money they're interested in is survival money, but the rest is to give to women. <laughs> when you go, when you get down to it, right? Yeah. And yep. then the the mm-hmm. third step mm-hmm. in in the making of this male female is okay. Now we got the body and and the brain made. How do I piggyback in there? So they go back into the formula and take out the parts that would make the medulla, the pons, the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, that kind of stuff. And they dump it and replace it with the same stuff from a Neanderthaler. So in fact, the Neanderthalers get to ride on the best vehicle possible, the ones they've manufactured themselves that are perfect slaves. And and that's why they have to go through a process of genetically introducing each stage and testing it out. So the first stages were to make gay people gay. And but gay people have always been around for... Yeah, except the gay people have only been around as long as there has been two genders. Male, female was a hermaphrodite at the beginning, so there was no need for gay people. They were two genders in one. But when they made male, they broke a leg off the X and turned it into a Y. Mm -hmm. But some legs were broken a little shorter than others, and and the ones that were a little longer still had that female instinct. Uh And that made gay people. And Uh then they had to reverse the process then, and make females who had uh, some male inference. Like instead of breaking the the leg off at the hip, they broke it off at the ankle, which basically symbolizes making a lesbian. Some female, but who has male tendencies. That was in the numerology Number nine, Mm. because number nine is made in the image of number six. To look at them, they're just upside down, one from the other, the symbol for equilibrium. Number six is the number for female. Number eight is the number for male. Number seven is the altering that gets done in between got the number six, you alter it and you make a number eight and then you alter the number eight to make it look like a six upside down and that gives you a number nine, that's the gate. Mm. Now the next step is to make the ten. The ten is the male female. Therefore, a reversal of the original hermaphrodite. So what they have now introduced this year officially is the number 10. 